Hey, thanks for tuning in. It's Chris here on our page, Simple Life on 16 Acres. Uh, today, I'm putting together a uh, growing guide for your strawberry runners. Uh, so in the video, I'm gonna be showing you my planting tips on how I like to look at planting strawberry runners. Some things you wanna consider is getting them into a good location where they uh, can receive at least full sun or at least that good part of the day, uh, sun right in the middle of the day. They do need really good drainage as well. Uh, the soil has to be uh, really well prepped and free draining uh, down to at least a cultivated depth of about 20 centimetres, I would recommend. Uh, and you wanna make sure you give them a good feed early on um, to get them uh, well established and ready for springtime. So we recently got an order from the seed collection uh, with four different varieties. Uh, they come as a five pack of runners. Uh, so when you look at getting your order, you wanna look at um, opening up the pack straight away and do any pruning maintenance. So we've got um, quite a good decent size runner here. So you're just gonna look at taking your pair of secateurs and look at trimming up any of the um, dead branch material out here and bring it back to a nice shape. So you've just got your growing tips there, as you can see, and it's ready for planting. So how I look at uh, prepping the planting um, holes, the sites where I'm gonna be looking at doing, you wanna look at keeping them 30 centimeter spaced apart. And I'm gonna look at digging a nice, good, deep size hole here. Just sort of look at tilling it down about 15 to 20 centimeters. So some of the amendments that I look at putting in when I'm planting things like my strawberries here, I've got a 50-50 ratio here of blood and bone and also potash uh, straight from your combustion fire inside. So I'm not going to overdose it. I'm just going to give like it a little handful and a little dusting straight in the pile there. And then I've just got some pelletized chicken manure, a good handful of that straight in the hole. And then also a decent handful of uh, my own homemade compost here on site. Chuck that all in the hole, get your little hand rake, give it all a good mix around, keeping all the material all in there so it's not going to flick out. Give it a good mix. It's like mixing all your ingredients together for a cake. Got it all mixed together now nicely. Grab your strawberry runner. You've got your crown. You want to make sure that's planted well above this uh, the, the soil level here. You don't want to um, plant um, too much soil mix around that top part. You're going to rot it out. When you're looking at planting the plant, you want to look at spreading the roots out over onto like a mound like we've got here. Massage the roots down towards the bottom just to cover it with the soil. Don't be too aggressive in pushing down. You just want to slowly massage the roots down, keep them all intact. As you can see, like we've got here, backfill around, keep it still on a slight mound so it's not gonna send too much water in. You want it to kind of repel the water off. So I'm just gonna create a bit of a mound around here like this and then create a bit of a well. So when I do water, I've still got water going in around this pocket here and it's still gonna keep the plant nice and hydrated. So I'm just going to go continue through these uh, these packs here. This variety here is the uh, Tioga um, here. So I've got 20 of this variety here to put in. So just going through, just trimming up all these dead stems that are off and getting it back looking like, like that. I just thought I'd do a closer look at my planting guide here for those of you watching at home here. So we've got the other crown that we've just planted over here. We want to space it roughly 30 centimetres apart. So we're going to dig the hole straight in this position here. Give it a nice deep till roughly down to the whole spades um, depth that you want here. We want really good downward drainage happening here. We don't want this spot to clog up. Uh, we do need a bit of water runoff. This here is the crown. This is one of the best crowns that I've got here. You can see how good the root system here, here is. Um, and then also how thick this is. It's massive. We're gonna get more roots growing around here. So I'm gonna be planting roughly up to about this kind of level here. You don't want all these roots being exposed, but you don't wanna to come too far up here around all this new growth. You wanna come around here where all those new roots are gonna to start to grow out. So I've got the hole prepped here. I've got a bit of the wood ash and blood and bone mix here. So sprinkle that in, 
handful of the pelletized manure, the chicken manure. Good handful of my own compost, straight in. Mix it all around. This process doesn't have to take long. You can go through and plant a whole bed being quick and efficient in this style. And I like, I like to use my hands as well. They're excellent tools. Take your crown and then we want to spread all those roots out, fan them all out around that hole. So they're all growing in different directions. Start to then push them down underneath. So we're still keeping this crown here just above. You're working at that height level and you're adjusting as you're, as you're going along getting all the roots covered so they're not at the surface. That's where they're gonna be the most vulnerable when the warm weather in spring and summer comes and hits. If these plants aren't established, it's gonna be make or break how they're gonna uh, perform in springtime. So it's uh, towards the end of May here. So we're at the end of winter. This is a perfect time to be getting these kind of things that are gonna slow down over that um, uh, the winter period. They're not gonna be doing a lot of growth. They will still launch out of the ground in the next few weeks, I believe, giving them a good liquid feed in. This is a separate garden bed that I've just finished planting another 20 runners in. Uh, this variety here was the red gauntlet. Uh, so what I've done here is I've got uh, berry canes in the middle that are gonna grow up this trellis line here. And then I've got strawberries on either side of the garden bed. And then I'm interplanting with things like baby spinach and lettuce down the end here as well, which is just going to be a quick little crop uh, that's going to uh, be ready to harvest well before these strawberries are going to start kicking on in spring when they need the space. And then the strawberries will then uh, provide a bit of shade and cover across the ground for the raspberry uh, canes here as well, which are also going to be springing up in that springtime. Thanks for tuning in at home guys. Uh, that's a wrap on today's uh, video on growing uh, new strawberry runners. Um, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, I'd love you to hit the subscribe button to uh, continue watching what new uh, projects I'm gonna look at doing and what I'm planting around our farm next. I'll get this last one in and I'll call it a wrap. See you guys.